Hello and welcome to the studio. You can see I've got my sunny shirt on today because it is fantastically hot here in sunny Wales. I am going to be painting on this canvas today and it's a bit bright. But before we do that, let's have a look at the palette. So as you can see, I've got some ultramarine blue, some cerulean blue, I got some yellow, I got some um, yellow ochre, raw sienna, burnt amber, white, black, a little tiny little bit of red, a little tiny bit of green. I will explain why only small amounts. I got some of my medium mix to stop the underbinding and I've got some um, flow improver. So today we're going to be working on a 16 by 20 canvas panel board and I pre-gestered it um, and I thought I'd, let's, let's have a blue background today. Let's have a blue background because I'm thinking of summer. I'm thinking of summer times. Yes. What a fantastic time. We could go down a beach. We could have picnics. And it's, it's it, the, the warmth in Wales. It's really nice at the moment. So let's have a bit of fun today, shall we? Let's have a bit of fun. Let's get some white. And let's get some yellow ochre on the same brush. I've just thinned my paint down just a touch. And I'm going to go like this. On top of that blue. I'm just scrubbing it in very lightly like this. I'm not worried about it being blended in. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of raw sienna. I'm just going to change the flavour up in areas like that. So we're going to have a nice warm summer's scene here today going to be really lovely. Let's get some pure yellow ochre now on my brush and just go in between those two colours or three colours I should say. A little bit of yellow ochre, a little bit of white, a little bit of raw sienna and a little bit of yellow ochre. So just mixing them colours together onto the, the canvas there like that. I have some stories to tell you, but when I was to be down on the beach when I was a child, I'll go on to them as we progress with this painting. So we want to try and get a couple of different effects there. Um, if you've got areas that you think need to be a little bit darker, then put a few areas there that are in a little bit darker. It doesn't matter if you've got a little bit of that blue showing through. It all adds to the illusion that there could be something going on there, which I haven't told you about yet. Because <laughs> you know me. You know me by now. You know I like to change things up a little bit. And as I come in down, I'm just going to dry brush in other words, I'm just, I haven't got a loaded brush, so I'm just dry brushing down there just to get some of that canvas texture to come through. And I'm just going to build up this lovely tonal effect like this. I've got a bit of raw sienna. This is going to be a fun painting today. You might be thinking, I've, I've gone a bit mad now. Clive's gone mad today. It's the sun has got to him. <laughs> It'll all work out. It normally does. It'll all work out. Why have I put a, a, a blue ground on my canvas today? Well, really, what I've done, I've painted over another painting. Uh, and I painted that painting... Um, a couple of weeks ago and I'm not sure when it was went out but it's, it should be out before this one and uh, I'll put the painting in the eye cards and you'll be thinking Clive you must be mad painting over those paintings well if I didn't do that if I didn't paint over them I'd have a house full of paintings and which I, 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 I can't sell or don't get rid of and they're not they're not good quality not in my normal standard of work which I do in the studio and um Sometimes I find a painting that 
I like and I like to keep like the cat painting I did that's also in the iCats and um, well it should be that was uploaded a couple of weeks ago sometimes I keep these paintings sometimes I don't uh, it all depends on how I feel and if this is a really nice one today I might keep this one I don't know yet you can see I've got a multitude of colours there looking quite nice does it look like a sky I ask myself well we don't know yet do we we don't know this I can tend to be a little bit mad sometimes. It's nice having you in the studio. Again, I didn't want my cup of tea today because it's too hot. I actually got a nice cup of water, um, or a glass of water. And I'm continuing to come down and got this dry brush effect there like that. I don't want to go too far. I think that might just be about it. Okay, I think that's about it. Oops, I think that's about it. Just uh, good job I had a, a, a lid on my bottle then, because I just knocked it with my elbow and it went everywhere. <laughs> or it would have done, it didn't have a top on it. Okay, let's have a bit of fun. Let's have a bit of fun in the studio. So now I've got a toothbrush, just giving a little wash, because I haven't used my toothbrush for a while, not for painting anyway, there is a little toothbrush. Okay, so what we're going to do is get some burnt umber and just tap in the toothbrush like that, bring it up to the board and then I'm going to flick towards myself like this. Get some spots on there. Definitely gone mad now. And let's get some yellow ochre and a little bit of white on the same brush. Well, it's on the same brush, it's on my toothbrush. <laughs> and let's do the same thing. Let's flick a little bit of that. I need a little tiny touch of water. I don't want a lot. I don't want a lot. I don't want to go out everywhere and there's better. Let's mix a little bit of white and a little bit of yellow ochre together. I want it a bit, bit brighter this one. And let's try that. That's not not going as well as I wanted. That's better. You can see why I got my gloves on. <laughs> I wear gloves a lot now. I just find it easier to clean up when I'm finished. There you go. That looks pretty good, I think. Do you understand what I'm doing? No? You haven't worked it out yet. So I'm just going to get a little bit of kitchen paper and wipe my hands. Now I'm picking up a... I'm picking up a long handle short flat, which I use to put the the different yellows in there. I'm going to pick up some cerulean blue and I'm just going to put in some cerulean blue like that.
a wonderful time. We go have picnics and stuff, and I love the summer. And I'm not feeling very well today, actually. I've, I've, I've got a bit of a virus. Um, I woke up really, really um, shaking, um, like as if you know, you, you know, you when you're cold and your teeth chatter like that. I've been, I was, I woke up like that. Oh, it's so cold. And I have been feeling very well the last couple of days, and I've taken the day off work today, and um, and I thought, well, I was getting a bit bored lying in bed, and it's a nice summer's day, and and I thought, oh, come on, let's just let's go and do let's go and do something, and I just well be productive if I got a day off. My son's out keeping the the window cleaning going, so my wife's in work, and I thought, well, I'll have a couple of hours in the studio, and why not? So just building up. I can hear my I can hear my neighbours' children playing in the garden. I thought they would have been in school today, but there you go. I think can you see can you can you work out what I'm doing? <laughs> That's actually a beach and this is actually the waves coming in. There we go. Ah somebody have just said Ah right, now I can see it. <laughs> Well, I don't stop there. I've got a couple of other surprises to go on now, and uh, now I now you know it's a beach effect. This is the tide coming in. I'm going to pick up some from Lagoon Blue, and I'm going to tell you a little story. And uh, I'm just going to put some shadows in. I remember going um, to the beach when I was a lad and having pack sandwiches and things, you know, my cheese sandwiches and I was only little then. And um I always used to get sand in them, didn't you? You always used to get sand in your sandwiches. That's what I, I always wondered I always thought that's what they called them sandwiches. Because <laughs> every time I went down the beach I always ended up having sand in them. So and we've got some lovely beaches around where I live. Lantwick Major, we got Sudden Down, we got um, places called a place called Puthcall. I go down there a lot. I have I have chips and fish and chips and down there. At least once a month. It's really nice having something that close. Let's get some more shadows. I'm, all I'm doing is putting some shadows in at the moment. I'm just trying to mix that in with the other colour. Nice. Some water is some sea water. My the the, the sea water around where we live. Um, you can see there's a bit. Sand coming through. The seawater where we live is is quite grey and, and and horrible. And I'll put some videos up for you. And um, it's not it's not like this. It's not lovely and blue like this. But um, places like Tembe and stuff like that, um, which are, which is on the Atlantic, because um, Puthcall aren't we major southern down. I told you which is around the area I live um, is is on the Bristol Channel. And. That's the channel basically, and there's a lot of muck swashes up and down. You might have heard me sitting in this before in other videos. And, um, I, I think it's some paintings, obvious beaches and things. I'll put them in my pants. You know. But um, down in Tembe, it's the, the water is more, it's, 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 well, it's the Atlantic, so it's, it's a more bluer type of colour. Not as blue as this, this is just an exaggeration. Um, it's a bit of a dream, really, just... A little bit of sand. Don't worry if there's a bit of canvas coming through, because that looks as if there's, there's a bit of sand there. Okay. Um...
that's just the waves come in and it's gone back out and it's come back in so that's a little that's a little shadow effect there what I gotta do now um, and it's awful hot in the studio today it's awful hot in the studio I'm gonna dry that off with a hairdryer okay maybe not as as dry as I would like it but um, nevertheless we're gonna have a try uh, my neighbors decided now to um, get his strimmer out and strim the garden it's causing Molly the bark <laughs> which is um, a bit annoying but there we are so they've got to cut their grass so I get in a little bit of ultramarine blue and um, I'm mixing that in with um, well <laughs> mixing that in with the uh, that colour now, there we are, we need a bit of a, a shadow colour, that's all I'm looking for. Anyway, we put a bit of shadow colour in. And we're going to put some foam patterns in now. Just pushing it around like this. That is really annoying. Actually, I might suspend filming if it carries on, I think, and then come back to this. I don't mind Molly barking, it's just that noise. There we go, it's just some foam pattern like this. Just push it on like that. Just push it on. Put some wiggly lines in. She doesn't like that strimmer. That's for sure. I don't know if my mic can pick that up actually. I got quite a good mic. I got a headphone mic on, and you can see it's going to a. I got a Zoom H1 um, recorder because I record my sound separately to the um, video. Because it's a, a, light, a nice, crisper, cleaner type of sound for you and um, I have got problems with my my current headset um, I've ordered another one so hopefully that will be a little bit clearer then making them feel wispy marks don't don't think about that when you're doing this because obviously foam patterns just are ah, foam it's, it's just there's no there's no actual set pattern to these things they are what they are we'll put a few other ones in there in a second But so far, so good. It's looking like a wave has just come in. But I feel let's get a bit more paint on my brush. Let's just get that pulling it down this way. Huh? So the work we've done earlier is paying off now. Oh, she really does not like that strimmer. So continuing to mix a little bit of ultramarine blue with the with the, the white paint. Let's put in a few. Little marks in like this. Thank you. 
you go. I just continue to do that and just put some patterns in. Just let your brush move about the canvas. It's really, really going for it up there. I'm just dry brushing a bit of white paint now. I've got picked up no paint now for a while. I'm just basically rubbing the paint off the brush just to get that, uh, that effect of possible water. And then it goes back. And then it goes back like that. So I'm going to find um, a script lining brush. I'm going to pick up a little bit of ultramarine blue very thinly on the tip of that brush. Now I'm going to just trace around the edge of this foam pattern. What that's going to do is just give me a little bit of shadow effect it's just going to edge that off a little bit really like that do want a lot of it because we're going to put some more white on there in a minute just to build that up and um, what we can do then is use the same technique in a little bit more of this and then just putting a few lines in like that just shadow lines make it look as if it's there's those watermarks that you can get on on the sea and there's no set pattern to these things absolutely no set pattern in fact, I think I'll zoom one of the cameras in and just put those little lines. You could spend hours on this if you wanted to. It depends on the detail you want to put in these things. But you can see it's starting to look a little bit like seawater now. We haven't finished yet. Oh, we've got a we've got a special thing to do up there. So don't spend too much time on this. If you want to have a bit of fun, then um, I'm just going to put a few more details in. Put a little bit more white up there then, and then we'll get on onto the fun stuff. There you go. So I'm going to mix a bit of white onto my brush. I haven't washed my brush, so I've still got a bit of that ultramarine blue on there, so that's fine also. And now we're going to trace in some watermarks and foam marks like this. So you can see the brush can do many different things. If you push it hard like that, you'll, you'll, you'll have that wonderful spread out effect, which you can link up together then. And it'll look exactly like water. And all these wonderful foam patterns coming in. Makes your noises, gets your imagination going. It makes whoosh, get those get those noises going, because I tell you what, it does help. It does. I'm not going to do many more now. I'm just going to put a few down, maybe here and that. I need a few down here. I'll do. 
I'll do. That will do. So I'm going to pick up my short flat again. I'm going to make sure that is dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this with a hairdryer now. And um, I'm just going to dry that section there. that would be easier. I'll tell you what I could do is I'm going to go back into this strip lining brush. And I could put some... patterns in this water because that's come in and it's just gone back out and it's coming back in again so that's little patterns of residual water there A little bit of splash, you see that? Splashy splash, splash. <laughs> so I'm picking up my half inch short flat again. I told you before, you don't need a lot of colours. Uh, you don't need a lot of brushes to, in, in, to, to have a fun time. And um, I've got colours on here for other reasons. Um, I thought I'd use the yellow, but obviously I'm, I haven't used it yet. So now I'm picking up some white. I'm trying to emphasize this foam because on the on the front of this wave it's gonna be a little bit more brighter because it's it's rolling and it's rolling it's it's causing it to to bubble up and the air is getting trapped within the wave and it's it's all it's all f frothing up so we need to get a little bit of that effect <laughs> like that <laughs> oh we do like to be beside the seaside oh we do like to be beside the sea you know candy floss and hot dogs and all this wonderful thing and popcorn and the kids are playing on the fairground and oh what a fantastic thing I love the beach I really do I love Tembe, I'm going down to Tembe, West Wales, in a week or so's time, and I'm looking forward to that. Because I really do enjoy the sea. There you go. I really do enjoy the sea. So it's, it's just coming there like that. There's a big breaker out here somewhere. I don't know where it is. But now we've got to do something absolutely fantastic. And um, what we're going to do now, we're going to take this off the canvas. Off the, off the easel, I should say. Oh no! What's he doing? I'm going to turn that around like that. I'm going to put my my blue tech on the back. I'm going to stick that down like that. Now, we've got the waves coming in this way. <laughs> Doesn't it look different? Isn't it amazing how things look different when you turn things around? And that's what you've got to do when you're painting. So, um, I actually went out and I took a picture of my pinkies. There we go. These are my pinkies. My patrons would know what I'm on about because they said, come up with a painting which I can use my feet in. <laughs> if you want to know what patron is, please um, click this little, uh, there's a link in the descriptions, but this is patron is that people can come along and um, uh, support me for as little as a dollar a month and, um, and helps me create videos like this. So, and there's other things I do on there just for them and not on YouTube. But there's my pinkies. Um, if you want a picture of my pinkies, they'll be available on the website. Um, but why not take a picture of your own pinkies and do a, a lesson like this? This is going to be absolutely fantastic. So what I've gone and done is um, I've gone and made a trace in. Well, you can't do draw. Yes, I can draw, but I don't want to draw. So I've done a trace in on my little pinkies. There you go. And what I'll do, I'll, I'll draw this out onto some paper and I'll make them available. Um, 
I would never thought I would sell my feet, but there we go. <laughs> so I'm going to put my feet well, there. But before I do that, I need to dry off the canvas, and um, and we'll go from there. Okay, so what I've done is I've dried that off. Um, I've put um, my trace in and some carbon paper there, and I've gone along with a pen and I've pressed quite hard. And I've traced that. Carbon paper is something we used to use when you was use the old typewriters. Do you remember when you used to make a copy, a carbon copy, they used to say. And you, used to, you have this paper with ink on it. And you'd slip it in between two pieces of paper. And then everything everything you would type would come through on the other one. So that's carbon paper. Now you can buy um, um, the other stuff that's just got um, pencil on it. But I find this is a little bit more better. It's, it's, it's better to use, I find, a little bit of ink. Um, but it does leave a trace, unfortunately. Anyway, take that off, and then you've got my feet. <laughs> There's my feet. No, I'm I'm sending my feet out over the internet, <laughs> and I got horrible feet. I really have. So I'm gonna f I'm gonna find a little. I'm gonna find a little um, detail brush. Um, I'm just gonna go straight into some ultramarine blue uh, because my picture there we are let's have a look let's have a look at the picture i've actually got can you see that there's the picture so i'm going to go uh, approximately the same as that um i'll put this up on the screen so it'll save me actually i'm um, trying to mess around with that and uh but I'll, I'll i'll have a look at my photograph from over there so i'm going to just going to paint that out i got some ugly toes my little pinky toes tend to turn right in and um, many many years ago and um, you mentioned I mentioned put call many many years ago I'm gonna put a little bit tiny little bit of black to that ultramarine blue I was walking along the beach in put call in South Wales and my mum and dad were me and and they still got them now but um they had um, donkeys, donkey rides in Puth Call. And I really wanted to go on the donkey ride. And I think it was like something like about 10p then or 2 bob. <laughs> 2 bob. I suppose my age. 2 bob. But we'll, 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 go, we'll go decimal. It's about 10 pence. Uh, which is 2 shillings or 2 bob. <laughs> And um, all was well, all was well. I went so far. I went up. I was waiting in the queue, and I was really excited. And my father was used to be tight. He never spent much money. He's a he's a tight tight man. <laughs> but this particular day, um, I must I must have caught him on the right moment or something. And. Um, he was a funny old gentleman, my father. He used to go down to the beach with a, a shirt and tie on. And um didn't matter what the weather was. He always used to wear a shirt and tie. That's how times have changed. There we go. Anyway, lovely man, my father. Bit of a pain on times, but... My mother used to say, you don't know your father like I do. Yeah, but he's my dad anyway, you my mum. That's all that counts really. I was waiting in the queue and then I went to, get, I, pick, I selected my, my donkey that I wanted to ride. And then that donkey brayed a little bit. <coughs> oh, he went like that. He moved his foot and he stepped on my right big toe and squashed it. And it wasn't nice. It hurt. And my nail was all a funny colour. And I was crying and crying. And and at the time I thought, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and the chap who owned the, um, the donkeys was really upset. And um, he was so concerned. And I, I understand why now Now I'm older. But I didn't then. <laughs> And he, he, he gave me 10 bob. 10 bob, that's 50 pence. That was a lot of money in them days, 10 bob. Can't have free ride. That soon stopped me crying. But my toe has never been right since. 
I think he was afraid we were going to sue him. <laughs> ten bob would shut the boy up. Just give him ten bob and a free donkey ride, he'd be fine. There we go. These days he would be taken to court for that, wouldn't he? But it's your... Your risk. You've got all these signs up these days on... On these pleasure parks, riding at your own risk, doing this, and you've got to do that, and... We are not responsible for this, that, and the other. Oh ah, well. I had ten bob out of it, so I didn't mind. I've always had trouble with that toe, actually. I had to have the toenail off it. A couple of times. But it's okay now. There we are. Got that bit in. <laughs> Let's continue with that. A little bit of black, I'll trim in blue and black. And let's put the... A Frenchman invented these sandals. His name was Philippe de Flop. <laughs> uh, I was knowing somebody's got a limp when they walk in on the beach with these on. They, they, all they do is a flop, de flop, de flop. <laughs> okay. Maybe I could have picked up a bigger brush, but I don't mind. I'm enjoying myself. I'm just going to paint that bit out. We can put a little bit of um, something in there in a minute. Now, what you could do, um, you could paint this white first before you put the colour on. That way then, it'd, it'd be a bit more crisper and you would find it would, you wouldn't have to do a second coat so much. But, um, I'm going to do the second coat later on, but for now I'm just going to block this out. I'm trying to keep these angles where they're supposed to be and Trying to keep the sharpness of the de flap. There we go. There we go. That looks okay. Let's do this other side. Any beaches or anything around where you live? You know, leave a comment in the comment box. Let tell me about it. Tell me about where you live. Tell me about the beaches and stuff and drop me a line, email me or something. I know a lot of you um, do my paintings and um, that makes me very proud actually to know that somebody has taken the time not just to watch what I do but to also take the time up to actually paint what I'm doing. And don't forget, as I said, these could be your feet. Why not in? Why not involve your feet? Make this painting your own. Very important. It's not all just about copying. All I try to do is is, is show you a way to, to encourage you to paint. And it's up to you what you paint and how you paint it. These are just ideas. Just ideas. Have fun. Enjoy yourselves. Paint away that stress. That we, are, we, we go on about constantly in the studio. That'll get stronger and stronger as we progress. I'm picking up a bit of cerulean blue now because we got a cerulean blue on a flash there. It just appears under there. Another bit of cerulean blue there on this side, isn't there? Always um, follow your reference, you know. Check, check your reference. You think, oh yeah, okay, I can. There's a little, there's a little tag there which I didn't realise until I was looking at it closer. And um, it's important that we, we incorporate these things. 
painted that out. I should have painted that out. Fine, that'll dry off and we can put a bit more blue in there later on. Looking good so far. Let's get a bit of yellow, bit of white, bit of yellow ochre, bit of burnt umber, touch of red. That's where that red comes in. more white okay, something that looks like like a flesh tone we don't need it accurate we don't need it accurate We're just something that looks a bit um, flesh tony that's all we're looking for let's put a bit of blue in that there's, there's more blue in in skin than you think I'll just cool that down a touch like that Bit more burnt amber. There we are. We've got a, we got a, a rough skin tony looking colour. That's all we want is a rough one. That's all we want. And we're just going to paint in the first bit, leaving the toenails. And this is just the first block out. some shadows and stuff in later on does it look a bit yellow doesn't really matter if you know me if you painted with me before you know I'm not bothered about things like that what, what worries me more than anything is does it look good does it look does it look as if you can hang this on the wall or give it as a gift or is it if it's a training painting um, as an exercise painting and I do quite a few of them as well if it's just for an exercise then are you happy with the exercise are you happy with what you've accomplished and I look for imperfections as well in paintings I like painting paintings that are unfinished I don't know what it is about an unfinished painting uh, Thomas Gainsborough have done a couple Renoir have done a couple um, that I've seen over the years and a lot of artists actually have done unfinished works and I don't know what attracts me to these things but I find them very intriguing and and you can learn so much from those things by just seeing their underdrawing or their painting or how they've built the layers up you know and some paintings you'll see um, the underdrawing some paintings you'll see my little my little pinky is on a on a on a skew here. I know you can't see the toenail on this one. You'll see the underdrawing. Sometimes you'll see um, where they've actually tried to build up the layers and stuff. And um, I got a fantastic um, museum around where I live, and I go there, and it's got a, a really brilliant uh, art gallery in there. It's a National Art Gallery of Wales in there, for fact. Um, we'll block that out in a minute. Let's just do my other pinkies. This little piggy went to market. And um, I just love the unfinished works. I did a painting of a, of a Renoir um, copy. I would painted that because it was unfinished. This little piggy stayed at home. This little piggy at roast beef. Oh, enjoyed that sandwich. And this little piggy had none. Oh, love him. But he's hungry. He's like me, my stomach just rumbled. 
Oops. Oh, wait, it doesn't matter. Put a bit of shadow in there, Clive. <laughs> and this little piggy went wee 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 all the way up to his mummy. There we go. Where's your brothers? Building houses, mummy. <laughs> Let's put a little bit of a Puffs there again. He huffs and puffs and he blows their houses in. There you go. Right, let's get um, a slightly bigger brush. I've got a little filbert brush here, which I'm going to use now. And um, I'm painting, um, painting my, my legs. My legs have gone quite fat. <laughs> Don't know why. That's, it's not muscle. I'll tell you what, my legs have been aching lately. Oof. Aching like an old man's legs today. Bit of arthritis, I think. No fun getting old, I tell you. It's no fun getting old at all. But you can make most of it, and that's what we've got to do. When you're young, you think you've got all the time in the world to do things. The time can go so fast, and we don't realise it sometimes. We've got to make the most of each day. There's a lot of lonely people out there, you know. There's a lot of lo there's a lot of people living on their own, and there's a lot of people that have got family, but the family uh, 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 doesn't don't live close to them. And and if you're living in a neighbourhood, which I do. I live in a neighbourhood, and there's somebody around that that are on their own. My mum was uh, used to live on her own, but she was quite fortunate. She had my sister and myself. My sister used to, used to visit two or three times a day, and even though I was just up the road, up the street, I used to see mum about three times a week, because it wasn't always practical to go down every day, because obviously with work and children and commitments, you know. Days go quick, as I said. Days go by very quickly. There you go. So it, was, it wasn't always practical to do that. I'm just going to wash that brush a bit. I need to get some of this ultramarine blue and that now. But the healing. Get some water in blue and let's put a bit of warmth because the blue is uh, is bordering on the on the warm side. If we mix a bit of white, if we mix a bit of white to it, it, it looks quite purpley. It really does. Let's get a bit of this blue. Let's put that logo thing there, whatever that is. A little flap like that. Mixing the paint out a bit thicker and just trying to get the, some of these brush strokes out of there. Now you take your time. I'm cutting a few corners because I'm not going to multi layer this. I'm just going to get it looking as if it should be okay for the um, video um, again as I said unfinished work but uh, I quite like this painting so what I'm going to do after I film is I'm going to go around and I'm going to keep touching it up um, otherwise I could be here for hours and hours and hours doing that I'm checking my monitor 
Um, and I'm also looking at my my cameras to see how it's looking. And you know, if I can get this to a standard that I'm happy with for camera, then I'm 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 happy to to leave it and move on because. As I said, some paintings can take ages. Don't forget that. Don't rush it. Don't try and do things in the same scale and time scale as I do or any other people do. And it's not easy, especially when you haven't got the experience behind you to do that. So I'm going to get a bit of burnt ember now. I'm going to darken up this skin tone with a bit of burnt ember and I'm going to just put in a few shadow marks there like that. I've got a bit of a wrinkle in my old feet here. I suppose you could do this multicolored as well if you wanted to. Let's get some shadow on these icky pinkies. Got a bit of blue, picked up a bit of blue now, it doesn't matter. Mix that in like that. Looks like a deeper shadow now. <laughs> Okay. A bit more burned ember. Put in a bit deeper shadow. as if I got a bit of a suntan on my feet. <laughs> Yay! I got some suntan. Makes a change. I don't like the sun normally. I want to get a little bit of white, a smallest amount of yellow ochre, just to, because I haven't got white toenails, have I? I got creamy type of toenails. We've all got creamy type of toenails. And then just a bit more of that. Let's take the edge off that white. Is my feet. You can see this line, see? Where I've drawn with a carbon paper, so always be aware of that line. Let's just have painted out a bit. There you go. Put some wrinkles in my feet. <laughs> there we go. If you got paint pencil lines and stuff like that showing through your painting, don't worry about it because that happens. Um, and people can see that it's genuine then. Even if you've just traced, leave a few little lines. So there's a nice summer scene. My feet. The waves are going to be coming up. And they're going to be going over my feet and cooling my feet off in the in the summer sea. And we could have a little bit of water just.
pushing up on my toes like that. There you go. And I think I'm going to sign this one today. So thank you very much for joining me in the studio. Don't forget to subscribe. I upload every Monday. And um, join me there as we paint away the stress of everyday life. I appreciate the thumbs up. And uh, well, until next time, until we paint away the stress of everyday life, have a go at this one. And I hope you have some fun with it. Nice. <laughs>